good evening, everybody. Happy to see you all here. My name is Susie. I'm born, got educated, accepted Jesus at age 16, always went to church, got married almost for 30 years now. This all happened in Spanish Lookout. I'm a woman of one man, and we have five children, ages, five, tw ages 12 to 27. I grew up in a godly home with eight brothers and two sisters and my parents who are still alive today. We were married for five and a half weeks when my husband had a big motorcycle accident and for the next six months we spent time together and we didn't say anything new to each other because we heard it together. <coughs> my purpose to go to LCI was to find Susie. Susie was scattered all over the place and needs to find herself and let God put her together again. Through different Bible verses, I found in the Word of God that helped me to find myself. Potters, three weeks ago, took me to some past experiences, and the Lord showed me the story in John 5, laying sick at the pool of Bethesda. And these lay a multitude of hurt feelings. I was judged, criticized, unloved, abandoned, physical, verbally, sexually abused, left at and belittled, and she was waiting for the moving of the water. An angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then some hurts were made well. Now a certain sin that had been there in her heart was sick for 38 years with pride. When Jesus saw her lying there and knew that she already had been in that condition a long time, he said to her, do you want to be made well? Isaiah, Isaiah 53 verse 5. But he was pierced for Susie's transgressions. He was crushed for her iniquities. The punishment that brought her peace was on him, and by his wounds she is healed. Mark 16, verse 7. But go tell Susie that Jesus goes before her. John 21, verse 15. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Susie, Do you love me more than others? It's a hard question. LTI. LTI is a great experience. They allow us to sit together with, they al allow you to sit with your husband side by side for eight plus hours every day for three weeks. We didn't even have a time to start an argument because we would never have settled it. There was no time. <laughs> it gave me a break from home responsibilities. No cooking, no baking, no laundry, a break from family and friends. They cooked delicious meals there. We went on outings, swimming, did games, made new friends. I actually enjoyed the movie nights. We had birthday parties. Last night will be an unforgettable for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, is that enough? Is that all LTI? <laughs> LTI is one of my best decisions I ever made. With intense teachings, I learned a lot of truths. Out of 10 plus different speakers, Robert Morris and John Bevere impacted my life a lot. Robert Morris speaking on dreams and destiny, I realized that I was stuck in dream, not stepping into God's destiny. Speaker Dr. Graffalo A. Dollar was an eye-opener for me, teaching on five hindrances to change. The hindrances that will not let us change is pride, fear, rebellion, laziness, ignorance. Joyce Meyer was my favorite. Walking in obe obedience gives authority. Since I grew up with abusive authority in homes, school, churches, school boards, community leaders, I had a hard time to submit. Everybody laugh, okay? <laughs> As we did our tests each morning at LCI for the first days, I had a problem that my own son would score them. I was thinking payback time came. <laughs> he had authority. One morning, I decided instead of writing my own name, Susie, I wrote, Mom, to remind him I was still in authority. <laughs> A few days later, I realized that he gave grace on the first few tests already. God kept working on my heart until I was able to hear him. Again and again, he wanted me to look and hear from him. He showed me what a healthy authority would look like. I realized that giving grace plays a huge role in authority. Each time I started to look to people, he invited me to look at him, to look for authority. Colossians 3 verse 1. Since then, Susie has been raised with Christ, set her heart on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. John 15 verse 18. 
If the world hates Susie, keep in mind that it hated me first. If she belongs to the world, it would have her as its own. As it is, she does not belong to the world, but I have chosen her out of the world. That is why the world hates her. Not Christians. Christians don't hate me. The world does. I want to thank my husband for giving me this opportunity at LCI. Our children, Anita, who supported us with words of encouragement from, from, from all the way in Peru. Jeff, for taking up responsibility at, at the business and taking care of your little sister. It meant the world to me. Randy, for running the farm in your already busy schedule. Kendrick, for scoring my test. And it was an honor to spend time together all this, at the same place. Bathaya, for your unending joy and love and doing your best. I missed your hugs. Thanks to Rich and Rachel, David and Dupi, for your example. Merita, for all the hard labor cooking meals for us. And the whole class for making this a reality. Thanks for those that prayed for us and visited us. Thank you. Oh, good evening, everybody. It's, it was a nice thing to be with, there with people, kind of all the same vision. We wanted to change. So in that part, we were all kind of in the same boat. We, so to hang out together with three weeks, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of nice. To, and, and I don't know if Rich mentioned it earlier, that we came to change our own lives. That's what I made sure. I will not be there to see if I could change my wife's life or anybody else because I wanted to change myself. <clears throat> so, but anyways, I am Lawrence Dweek. This is my wife, Susie. First of all, thank you for this great... First of all, thank God for his grace. I would like to thank Rich and Rachel for doing the LCI and for all the that are involved in this, whatever they do. <clears throat> I grew up in a Christian home. Wherever is somewhere in my mid-teen years, my dad <clears throat> made a change. He went to visit another church. He knew there was more to Christianity. When I was about 25, I got married and still didn't fix all my problems. Then we searched for more. We found uh, lots of answers, <clears throat> lots of answers. I knew there was more than that. I heard positive testimonies from LCI. I, <clears throat> I thought, let's try that. I need, I need to change the way I was thinking. There was too much negative thinking and struggled with condemnation. LCI has a lots of good and positive teaching. <clears throat> teaching. Jack Frost was one that he said, receive love and give it away. Unconditional love is <clears throat> never based on the merit of the one receiving it, but on the merit of the one giving it. Jesus is a good example. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. So, that, was, that is one thing that was in my heart that I wouldn't, I would not go and change my life because I want to change somebody else. That was from my heart. Thank you. <clears throat> 